Today I have my BoxyCharm January 2020 unboxing. It's late because I signed up at like the very end of January. Because I was debating whether I wanted the box or not. And I guess I decided I do. Okay, Clementine, seriously, there's my doggo. For all of you that have wanted to see her, she's probably going to make noise in the background. I apologize. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay. This box is way bigger than I remember. I used to get BoxyCharm all the time, a long time ago. Anyways, since I signed up for a new subscription, I guess, I got this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Nourishing Prebiotic Green Mask. Let's see, is this cruelty free? I hope. Why is it not focusing? It's from British Britain. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. I hope it's cruelty free. So I'm trying to go cruelty free. This is not. I might still use it though because it was free and all. Uh, it's the Microdermabrasion Dr. Brandt. That's the directions. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably use both of those. Okay, let me cut this because I forgot. Hold on one sec. So, I haven't... I don't know what I'm getting. I've seen a bunch of videos, but not everybody gets the same thing. So, this is the inside. It's red. And I'm sure you all know box. the theme is breaking the ice. That shows me what's on it, so I'm not going to look one thing at a time here. The Avant Shea Butter Rice Bran 8-Hour Sleeping Mask. Ooh, I really wanted this. I want a sleeping mask so bad. And it's cruelty free. Yay. Those are the ingredients. Shea butter. Rice bran. Oh, this fragrance. Gross. Oh, well. We'll have to try it and see what it does. Let's smell it. I'm curious. Oh, it's sealed. Eh, I'll fit. I'll let you guys know what I think of it next month. I'm going to try and do like Chrissy Harless does and update last month's in next month's box. So we'll see. And the next thing in here is Grande Drama Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I really wanted to try this too. I'm glad I got this. Don't know if this is cruelty free. I'll have to look it up. If it's cruel, if it's not cruelty free, I might still use it. If it's something I really want to use, like this or the microdermabrasion, but I won't repurchase it. I'm not gonna pay money for that. I don't support that crap. I know you guys are probably me mad because I'm gonna use it anyways, but I don't care. This is an eye cream from Dr. Brandt. Again, not cruelty free, but. I love eye creams. Let's see if this is any good. Uh, I don't know. Orange peel oil? That's not good for your eyes. I don't think. I'm still learning about all these ingredients. It's so confusing. I've been watching uh, Hiram. And he's helping a lot. This. I didn't want. Not supporting Too Faced anymore. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I really am not happy with them right now. But. I don't really want to throw something away. I don't know. I might give it to a friend or something. We'll see. Let's open it up. Is it your time to shine? It's cute packaging. It's a little bulky though. It's a bit much. 
I mean, it's pretty. I don't... Uh, I don't know. I kind of don't want to swatch it. Because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. And... Yeah, I, I don't know. I gotta think about that one. We'll see. And this last thing is the face micro exfoliating face wash. I think this is cruelty free. It's made in Italy. Those are the ingredients. I really want to try this. I like this. I'm excited. It says it's vegan, cruelty free. Okay, so, to wrap this up, we got this I'm really excited about. I'm super excited about this. I'm excited about that till I found out there was fragrance in it, but I'll try it. If it doesn't offend my skin, I'll keep using it, but I don't know. I'm really excited about this mask. And the rest of it, I'm not sure. I'm excited about these. I just hate that they're not cruelty-free. I don't know. This Too Faced thing, I, I don't know. I'm still deciding. I have a bajillion highlighters. This one's supposed to be more subtle, though. So, sorry. I'm horrible with this camera today. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. I'll let you know. Anyways. So these two items were free. So that doesn't count towards the box. Let's see on here. We got highlighters. $36? Jeez. That's ridiculous. Two Faced is so overpriced. Crushed diamond powder and pearls. No wonder it's freaking $36. That's ridiculous. Okay. Eye cream is $55. Whew. That's expensive. It's got retinol and ruby crystals. Damn. Okay. Uh, the truffle therapy face wash is $28. Could be cheaper. Kind of expensive. Oh my god, the sleeping mask is $107? Wow, that's a lot of money. Eight hour sleeping mask works to reveal youthful, beautiful skin overnight. Helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. I've been noticing I'm getting fine lines. And it's sad. But... Maybe this will help. But I am not repurchasing that. I don't care how much it changes my skin. I don't care if I look 12. No. That is ridiculous. That's so expensive. And then the thickening mascara is $25. Which is about normal for a higher end mascara. My favorite mascara ever is the Tarte. Lights, camera, lashes. But this one's supposed to help. It has a lash serum in it. So it's supposed to help grow your lashes. So, I don't know. I'm excited. That sleeping mask is four times the price of the box. I can't get over that. That is blowing my freaking mind right now. Okay, so 25 and 107, 132, plus 28, 160, sorry if I do my math wrong, 205, no, 2, 215. And then $251 worth of products right here. 
Wow. That's a lot of money. I'm kind of glad I bought this. I don't know why, but that... I'm kind of speechless, guys. I'm sorry. But I know the box is like five more dollars than it used to be, but this is the best boxy charm I've ever got. Even if I didn't like any of the products, I couldn't complain. Because... Huh! That's so much money. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. I really want to know how much these two are. I want to see if we can get over $300 with the free gifts. So I'm going to go figure that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, just a review. Quick. This is everything that was in the box. The highlighter, the eye cream, the face wash, the sleeping mask, the mascara, all that together is $251. Which is crazy to me. But if you add in the Elemis, this is $35. If I like this, I would spend $35 on that. If I like it. If it's worth it, etc. This, no way in heck I would pay full price for this. $79. Wow, that brings the total of the box, including the free gifts. $365. That's blowing my mind. And I only spent $25. I got almost $350 worth of stuff for free. That's crazy. I know it's not all cruelty free, but I cannot complain. Like I said, I'm not going to spend my money on Dr. Brandt or Too Faced. But, wow, I'm excited. This was a good box. And a lot of people are mad because they didn't get makeup. I really don't care. I'm kind of happy. I would rather have something else instead of this. And skincare is expensive. It adds up. If this stuff is good, I'm getting it pretty much for free. If you count this... That's the $25. All of this is free. I basically bought a mascara and got the rest free. This is crazy to me. I am so impressed. BoxyCharm freaking blew it out of the water. And the only reason I got this, I put that I don't like Too Faced and I didn't want Too Faced. But I put highlighter as one of my favorite makeup items. So that's why I got this. I think everybody got this, honestly. I don't know. I'm just mad at them. I'm being bitter. Sorry. Anyways, I'm excited to try all this stuff. I'm going to shut up now because I'm rambling about nothing. And as soon as my February box comes, I will record that one. And I'll let you know what I thought of all this. I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. And I'm going to try and do a Mass Monday with that Elemis. I'm going to start trying to upload more. Anyways, thanks for watching. I know I rambled a lot, but I'm going to go. So, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.